Here we go. Hey, if you've just joined us, it's half past eleven here on Town Talk on the Dark FM 100, and it's Friday, which means that Chef Carol Moore is in the studio. Carol, a very good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning, good morning to you, Carol. Morning. How are you this morning? You're looking uh, very fresh, bright, and enthusiastic. Yes. This morning. Were you celebrating St Patrick's Day yesterday? Yeah, just chilled out with the whole family there, so it was grand. Mm. We had a great day. Were you cooking? Did, we did a bit of cooking, yeah, it was cooking yesterday and uh, it was practising actually, I made a few breads that we're going to do today. Lovely. So, uh, were you drinking? Well, you had, had one point of still, just yeah, to keep me going. To, yeah. 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 Just to <laughs> keep me going. Like myself. So what we're going to be doing uh, today on Cars Kitchen mm. Flavours is we're going to do a, a traditional Dublin coddle. Right. And uh, we're going to do a walk and talk through and then we're also going to be showing you how to make uh, a Guinness and walnut bread. Lovely. Lovely. And then we're doing a Darver Cottage chocolate and sultana bread. <gasps> Wow. And then also to complement that again, we're going to be doing like a, a, a Darver Cottage white soda bread. Lovely. Right. Bread. Uh, as I said to before, a lot of stuff that, that, that you cook for, for me, I, ha I have to sort of compare it to stuff that I've bought out or stuff that, <laughs> that I've bought in packets or gone into a restaurant to sit down. Yeah. But I have to I have to warn you, Carol, that uh, my <laughs> granny was probably the best at soda bread and the current bread that, that I ever tasted in my life. So you're up against it today. So the, the pressure's on. <laughs> Don't tell me. You want to start sweating now, kiddo. Just First of all, what's a Dublin coddle? The Dublin coddle, basically it's a traditional broth, basically of using like, uh, you have sausages, bacon going through it, you have onions, potatoes, carrots, and then uh, your flavour with like uh, thyme and parsley. Mm. And uh, you can also put like a handful of barley in it as well. Right. Oh, right. And basically where it stems from is back like in the, say back in near mm. enough to the famine time days, you know what mm. I mean, like basically just using up like cheap ingredients. Mm -hmm. And uh, back in the day they used to cook around the Thursday, because they'd be using up all the sausages and bacon from the week. Right. Because like with the with the Catholic thing on the Friday we have the fish, That's right. and then basically the shop would start again then on the Saturday. The oh business. right, so it's just using up everything that was. So it was just a very economical way. And we, this is what we're talking about. This is a theme of yours all through the thing. It's about being cost effective, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's about being cost effective, and also I said like it's it's all cheap ingredients, and like it's a hearty meal in itself. Yeah. Especially like in a. Is like it nutritious? Nutritious. Well, you're getting all the proteins and all the vegetables, and you're getting the stock then into there, like, you know. And uh, especially on a cold day. Yeah. You'd be very glad of it. Why do I think, I know Dublin Coddle is a very Dublin based dish, why do I think you're around about St. Patrick's Day as well? Yeah, it's just, once again, it's just a, like that the Irish team uh, influence and coming through there, like, you know. And I suppose with the Dublin Coddle as well, like, as I was saying to you earlier on, in, in Dublin, like, there's two different, there's actually a few different varieties. Like, uh, we have South Side, where it'd be just like the, the brush. <laughs> <laughs> the South Side Coddle, then, would be just like your, your, like your stock with the sausages and all the vegetables going through mm. it right. and then it seems then like on the north side then it's also known to have like uh, you, instead of using the stock you use uh, oxtail soup oh, right. so you have like a brown coddle right. Right. Do you know what I mean? and then it, I'm going real back now they used to also put like a dash of uh, Guinness into it just mm -hmm. to give it that, that flavour like, yeah. you know? so it's the Guinness one that you're with? we made, well, we made the Guinness bread <laughs> alright okay. so, well, so, uh, are we Don't having a north name. side or a Dublin side coddle? Uh, we're having a south side uh, of course Right. North side, what is it? North side or Dublin side? Yeah. North side or no, this is South Soil. Yeah. This is like the Libos. This is like the, the, the Libos specials. The Liberty yeah. yeah. okay. specials. So basically, it's the ingredients we have is uh, we have carrots, we have we have uh, peeled potatoes, mm -hmm. boiled onion, we have bacon and sausages, and we're going to have fresh parsley and uh, fresh thyme. And once again, like so, it's really, is what you would find in, in your fridge at the end of the week. Yeah. Yeah. You're, so you're utilizing all the, the ingredients, and I suppose like back in Dublin, like. These all, all these ingredients would be really in, in hand. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like in yeah. the city. Yes. You know Moore I mean? Street. I'm thinking of Moore yeah, Street. Yeah, the markets yeah, yeah. and the stalls. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. if you're thinking more so, even up like at the Liberties up on Thomas Street and all that, that's where they have all the market stalls. Like, yeah. There would have been like a surplus of vegetables and all right. that. Right. Yes. You know. Yeah. So, uh, so basically, what it is, you have your water on there. Right. So you just bring the water to the boil. So you just over like quarter of the, the pan. Yeah, just quarter the sauce. Yeah, just yeah. like two liters would be enough. Right. Do you know what I mean? And once again, like it's a real feeling like you have a big family, do you know what I mean? And also it's nice for the next day. Ah, uh, like any good <laughs> sauce, yeah. When they infuse, isn't yeah, that that's right? The word. Yeah. That's it. That's the word. The flavor is infused. Still, it, you know, I'm a time to think, we're talking about the history of it, I'm to think, I'm trying to think of a traditional old dish. Is it still popular in Dublin? I uh, would be, yes, yeah. yeah. All the Dublin mammies now would have the... Would still do it. They'd still have the coddle on the go, they would, yeah. 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 So when you go home, Catherine...